Yep. Damn it. All right, man. So first off, oh, you okay? Good. <laughs> All right. This feels really <laughs> far back. Okay. First off, man, I want to say so glad to have you back here. You know, have you playing? I know that, of course, you're doing things. You also had the injury and stuff like that. So you've kind of been out, not been able to probably practice as much as you want and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But how did you feel going into this tournament now just, you know, playing these caliber players? Of course, everyone's kind of seeing, like, okay, where, where is Zero at right now? Where is his level of play? Is he going to take this? How did you feel kind of going into this top eight? I mean, it's just hard because, like, I play three characters right now. I play Diddy, Sheik, and Cloud. Right. And I use, okay, every game I used a Sheik today, I lost. And the one game I, uh, I won was, like, kind of lucky because I just I threw him off the stage. And then yeah, he I just, cleared him. And I got an untackable, so it's like, okay. In my head, I'm like, okay, so. And then he he said, let's go to Talent City, right? So I'm like, I know he wants me to go to Talent City so he can go DK. And I don't think I don't think she can beat DK right now, yeah. especially in Talent City. That's, like, that's asking to lose. Yeah, yeah, so it's, like, it's I have to so go, good. So I'm like, I have to go Diddy. But it's like, ugh. You know, here's the thing. It's like, uh, like, like, you know, Diddy, Diddy can get. Okay, here's the thing. If you're playing, if you're winning with Diddy, he looks like unstoppable. But if yeah. you're getting, like, you're losing with Diddy, he looks like, oh, he looks so predictable. But that's because Diddy goes one way or the other. Of course. Yeah, like for example, if you get a good side beat, it's like, oh wow, that was amazing. And then you miss side beat, it's like, oh wow, that looks stupid. Yeah, why is he just flying? Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's like, correct. correct. It's like you, you, it's like you're in the back of your head. You're like, okay, this side beat could work or not work. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I got like super, super good side beats, and sometimes yeah. I got like. The side piece where I'm like I'm shaking my head. I'm like, why did I side be there? Yeah, you know? right. But it happens like both ways. Yeah, of course, of course. I saw. I felt like during the course of the games that you guys were playing, you guys were both kind of adapting on where you guys would side be. Both of you guys were using a lot of double jump side beats to get back on the stage. I don't even know. Right? What's going yeah, on. <laughs> just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> forget that. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, you know. I just know that he right. was side B, and I'm just like I'm just listening to the ding. Yeah. Oh, it, like the thing is, I want to go cloud against them, but it's like. Yeah. I, I, the one was actually saying that we actually thought that the cloud might come. I out. wanted to go cloud against him in battlefield because cloud's good in battlefield, but then I was Very like, true. okay, let's just go, let's just go. She can battle. She sucks on battlefield right now because mm -hmm. I mean she can bad on battlefield because um, you can't uh, needles around the ledges of you get kills because of right. the platforms. Yeah. But then and then the high ceiling you can't never kill, so you don't you don't want to go she on battlefield at all. And then makes I'm sense, like, Diddy Kun's not that good in battlefield either, but Fox's amazing in battlefield. So I'm like, okay. Exactly. You know, so I'm like, okay, so how can I win this? I'm like, I should go cloud, but then in my head, I'm like, if I play slightly better with Diddy, I could win. But then I should go cloud. It's like I have always this like second guesses on a guy. Should I of go course, right? When you have all those characters, yes, exactly. Like today in bracket, for example, I had to play this Greninja player from like AZ. So oh, straight up, right? Yeah. So he went cloud game one, right? I beat him with Sheik and FD. I'm like, okay. Then he counter picks me to the same stage with Greninja, and Greninja does really well against Sheik because all of your kill confirms are multi hit. Except up smash, which means that Greninja can mash side B out of your upper. So you, if you get any throw or anything and he air dodges, he doesn't yeah. have to air dodge. He just waits to get hit, mashes and side B, and B hits and you, and kills out. you. Exactly. And and he waits in the neutral. He's sure he can he can he can fight you camp. So you can't camp him. Mm -hmm. And then he can just down tilt into up smash and kill you like at 60. Like yeah. the match that I lost, right? Um, I was at 60. And he was at 150. I get down tilt. I forgot why. Like probably some minor miss miss. I yeah. Get down tilt. Die up smash, and I'm like, wow, I actually died to that. Yeah, it's a little rage. Yeah, yeah so exactly. Like, in my head, I'm like, okay. So then we go game three. I go Diddy. Diddy does really well against Greninja. So I went. Earlier in bracket, I had to play the the Shulk Miko. He's like the best Shulk. Most oh yeah, likely. yeah. So game Very one, player. game one, he's at he's at one stock 80%. I'm at one. No, he's at two stock 80%. I'm at one stock 120% with Diddy Con. I mean, I'm I'm about to get two stock mm -hmm. like Diddy Shulk. Of course. And then I come back. I do like some zero. Crap, like just randomly hit him and then he just explodes off the side. Yeah. And then um, slowly come back. There's like 40 seconds left on the clock. He's like at 220%. Mm -hmm. I'm like at 180. We have like Dragon Ball Z moments and I barely win. And I'm yeah. like, okay, so I'm not going to win the next game because, you know, that was just too close. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, okay, what's your counter? But he goes Lilith. I'm like, I'm going Cloud. And then I, okay. you know, and I, and I almost got the two stocks. So I'm like, okay, you know, every time I pull out Cloud today, I won. But it's right. like, I just don't but you still know. hesitate because. But I just don't know where to pick him. Exactly. Cloud, Cloud can just go so well or so wrong. But it's like, I need Cloud in the sum of these matchups. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I could have used uh, Cloud there. It's like, it's like a gumbo. Like, I wanted to go Sheik, but my Sheik was playing bad. Right. Uh, Like, Sheik was playing fine on Friday and Saturday. But on Sunday, she was like, like, Sheik is all about confidence. If you're not confident in your Sheik play. Yeah. She plays like Clearly really neutral base. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, super so far. And besides with the nerf and everything, uh, like, the amount of mistakes, for example, let's say. Previous patch, you can make three mistakes per stock and still win. Mm -hmm. Now it's like more so like one. 
So it's like you, like you, you mess up that tiny thing, and your match is over. And if you lose yeah. the lead, it's over too. Yeah, and people are getting better with the conversions too. So it's like yeah, you like said, she like she gets too punished. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't think she's she's that good. And well, Diddy's super good too. It's like I feel like I feel like Diddy Kong is that character that like if you play him long enough, you figure him out. Like I keep yeah. having sets where like I win the first two games like on fire, yeah, and then I lose like a bunch of yeah, because then games. people start figuring out what they need to prioritize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's like, Definitely it's like, see that. And it's and at, um, at this point, this happened to like this happened to me with like five different people. Mm. So I know it's not just it's not the opponents. It, it's literally the matchup with my character to right. other characters. It's how the way the character mm. functions. For example, Leo, you know, beat him solidly game one. Then he immediately figure out what to do. Last hit game two. Last hit game three. Last hit game four. Last hit game five. All of them last hit. Play Larry at Gummo. I think I two stocked him and then one stock low percent. And then last hit, last hit, last hit. You're right. And then okay, um, happened. play Pele Ally. Super solid game one, super solid game two. Last hit, last, last hit, last hit. Last yeah, hit. like right. you see, like yeah, yeah. my life is trumped by last hit games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um then I just need to like I need to get better with Cloud or I need to figure out when to when to go cloud. Okay. Like I'm at this point where I'm like, do I am I am I go this character in this matchup, this other character in this matchup, this character in this other matchup. Like at this point, like the top seven, eight characters are all like about around the sky, almost the same level, except same Ryu. Level. I think Ryu is like a tier in his own. No. I think Ryu is totally crazy. Yeah, Ryu. <laughs> that I think character. Ryu is crazy. Yeah, he's he's always been the same. Remember we talked about how he like he needs to be nerfed. And I'm like, I mean, he's Larry was eventually gonna be me. Like, I, okay, how many times have I played Larry? Let me yeah, you guys have gone last hit. So like, okay. I mean, last game let, so let, many times. Let me think. Let me think. There's, it's more than you think. It's more than you. Let me think. So it's like, okay, mm. I think I played Larry over 20 or 25 sets all time. And I've never lost to him. Mm -hmm. But here's the, so people say that it's like, wow, zero beats Larry every time. Okay, but what people don't know is that every time I play Larry, it's almost always game five. Right. Going back to even the first Diddy Kong when we played the same matchup, Diddy Kong Fox. Yeah. It was still last hit. Yeah, you guys always go last hit. That happens I think, I think all I've, the time. I think I've had like maybe 15 or 16 sets with Larry that went to game five, last stock, last hit. Yes. Like that could have been either way. Yes. And yeah. It's like, definitely. It's, just, it's too much. Yeah. So um, that's crazy. So I mean, I know like some people. Maybe like, oh my gosh, this is like losing steps of that. But yeah, just like you said, like what a lot of people don't realize is this is something that you two have actually done for a very long time. You guys have had a lot of these Come last hits that same way. Yeah, yeah, it's, By it's way, absolutely insane. the first insane. time Larry popped off. Yeah, no, I know, because yeah, he's, <laughs> he's been wanting with that, man. He's been wanting that, so it's crazy. But Larry, okay, Larry has never popped off in the history of popping off. Yeah. He I popped know. off against me. Yeah, so man. I have that medal. Of course, of course, I have man. the medal. Larry right. popped off against you. Yes, you got, <laughs> wear that. <laughs> you wear that, man. <laughs> well, man, it's always great to have you here. I'm glad that you're like, you seen kind of like the next step in your play in terms of like you're saying like having these characters and be able to use Cloud, you know, something that you can use in your deck and then kind of maneuver that around for counterparts and all those kind of things like that too. So I'm really excited to see that. I loved seeing your Cloud out in doubles. Today. Eh, I mean, work. I dropped the ball in doubles a lot mm -hmm. of the time because, I mean, I don't know if it's me, pro man, probably some cloud man could be no. able to tell me if I messed up or not, mm -hmm. but I kept, like, getting cross, let me, uh, cro yeah, let me cross slash on people, and I will get them, like, point blank, like, tsh, like, counter, like, parry yeah. their, their, their thing with my limit, yeah. and then they will, I will get the first two hits, and pop out, and then they just pop out and walk away, and then they kill me, and I'm like, okay, what did I do wrong? Cause I never, I can never do that. Mm -hmm. When I fight Cloud, that never happens. <laughs> but when I use Cloud, that happens to me. So it's right. like, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Who did, right. okay. Yeah. So who did I piss off up there? Right. Yeah. Who did I piss off up there? Smash Wars guys. Okay. All right. But uh, anyways, congratulations, sir. Always a pleasure to have you, man. You. Really excited to see. Like I said, like just kind of the next step, see the next turn you're going at, and see what you bring to the table, man. Always exciting play. Always just keeping everyone on their toes, man, and really showing people like you're a real true pioneer in terms of how this game should be played and all the look of that I mean, so i mean to be honest stuff. with you it's like uh, i mean this game got a lot of harder because um mm, what made this game harder let me remember it's not it's not it's not the patches it's uh, something else so um, i think something important to notice is that i'm the most studied smash pro player of course like like everybody who i know that has a chance of winning this tournament as a, a long page of like notes on me or studies me. Of course. Yeah. I mean, but, but <laughs> you're people, the best. So, yeah, that's going to happen. People underestimate uh, mm -hmm. like the ability, not the ability, but the, the power of doing that to a player. Because, uh, so let's say, for example, I beat somebody in a set 3 0, right? Right. Right. So then they can go back and watch that. Mm -hmm. So they know exactly what happened and why they lost. Yeah. Right. right? 
But if I win, right, you don't, you don't, you don't necessarily, you're not gonna really study your games because you won. Like you know what you won. Of course, right. Of course. And then the person who loses, right, they can go back and watch it. They yeah, there's learn. a lot more for them to actually analyze yes. and take from it. Yes, yes. So then the next time you fight, that that can go either way because mm -hmm. you know, in, now you may say, okay, but you should like. That's the thing. That's like the Mitigan syndrome, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like in, it's like in Brawl, for example, Mitigan will win every tournament. So everybody studied the crap out of Mitigan. Yeah. So then he went from like being super dominant to like struggling with everyone because everyone knows how he plays. Yeah. You know, and you can only you can only like play so many ways. Yeah, exactly. Before yeah. people try to figure that out, and then yeah. it gets a lot more difficult. Like I feel like hmm, I don't know, it's just so hard. And like be, being number one is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's too hey hard. man, but you're still doing it, man. <laughs> you're still doing it. I mean, I'm trying. Like at least if I don't get first, I get second. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not it's not bad, but um, it just makes me sad because um, a lot of people a lot of people were cheering for me, mm -hmm. like randomly, and I'm just like, okay, cool. I don't expect people to cheer for me. So whenever like a few people do, I'm like always like, oh. And when I lose, it's like I feel super bad because they were like the few lone warriors who were like hey, cheering man. for me. Well, I know. I let them down. It's just like, oh. Man, I know the Scarf Army is still strong, man. I know you got a lot of people there. It makes me sad. Oh, they'll love you. So it, like doesn't, said, it doesn't make me sad to lose myself. Yeah. It's just I dis I'm disappointed, but like makes me sad for the fans because like they'll try really hard, you know, to like cheer me on to win, and then I disappoint him or do something stupid. Mm -hmm. So in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, dude. Yeah. I pissed someone off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm okay, thinking. Man. <laughs> but, yeah, it, um, I, mean, I mean, Larry played really well. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm happy for him. And I don't know, I'll get him like the next weekly because we play every week. Yeah, of course, man. You, I play you him like in two on, days. On yeah, I'm on to like, the next one. My house, of course. You guys are going to play anyways. So I'll play him anyway. And then, um, you know, shouts to, you know, all the people that support me. Like, yep. Vanessa was super cool. Um, always cool. And then um, just everybody, like, being supportive at the venue. I don't know. I mean, I did. <laughs> At this rate, yeah. <laughs> the question is, am I gonna get second all summer? No, man. Oh my god. No, that no, that's gonna happen, man. You, is, is you're the you're, you're fine. Is the timeline where zero starts spamming like second places and then just wins the big one? Like, am I am I getting mango right now? The mango? Am I getting? Oh yeah, my man. god, because I won all summer. I won all summer tournaments. That happened to Mango. Yeah. He kept getting second place. Hey, you started it up. Oh, that's happened to me. Oh, I started it up. You started. I have to kill myself. You already begun. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I got a second. But I got to go. Like, you know how unfortunate that will be? Like, your life? Okay, what will you do? So, if you had a dream, okay. you know, if you had a wish, if you had a wish, right? Okay, here's my wish. You could top eight every tournament in your life. Okay. There's no guarantee you can win. Right? You could get seventh or yeah. second. Okay. But what if you, if the other one, you get second in every tournament in your life forever? No first, no third. Always second. Which one would you pick? Yeah, you get this. Dude.